My own theological position is something people will be naturally interested if you're going to pick up and read a, a theological textbook. Uh, I have to say my own heritage, if you like, lies in the Reformed tradition. And yeah, I have to say I am a, a very happy card-carrying Calvinist. Now, when some people hear that word Calvin, they instantly have these caricatures of this cold, dark, stale kind of theology, as if a Calvinist is someone who's afraid that somewhere, somehow, somebody is smiling. Okay, so when I say the Reformed tradition and, and Calvin, that's not what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, you know, for, for me, Calvinism or, or being Reformed is based on this premise, you know. Basically, people suck. They suck in their sin. They are suckness unto death. And the God who is rich in mercy reaches down to save them based on nothing more than his pure gracious decision to be the God who saves. That's my Calvinism. The rest is commentary. So that is the perspective that I bring to this book. Now that said, I'm also trying to dialogue and talk to a wider number of traditions, whether they're Reformed, Orthodox, uh, Evangelical, but not Calvinistic. I I've tried to give everyone uh, a, a, fair, a fair say in the conversation, what does it mean to be the people of God? What does it mean to worship God? What is the faith that's been received by the saints? Uh, and for me, I, I, like I said, you know, I think my reformed heritage is, is, is the vein that I tap into to answer those questions. But I'm also aware that there are other voices to be heard and I've tried to incorporate them and respect them wherever possible. Mm -hmm.